Okay, guys, welcome to what the fuck? And I've done a few takes of this, and I just I'm not my uh, usual sort of calm self. So I'll try and stay calm for this one, but it's probably not a what the fuck moment. It's a who the fuck moment, as in the World Health Organization. Um, I got a lot of ridicule two years ago when I said a lot of this leads back to the World Health Organization and how their directives are the same as what we are copying here, as in inconclusive and unavailable, are marked down as positive, etc., a whole lot of stuff. I went back to the WHO website and everything just matches to what the Victorian health organisations are putting down as laws and regulations and so forth. So, but I'll play this clip by our beautiful Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, who's been missing a lot in action in regards to when we've been calling out for health, help with uh, when Daniel Andrews has gone off on his uh, dictatorship and who's just ignored us and said, oh, well, it's not my job. It's the uh, state government's. I can't do anything. So I really don't know what the fuck he does. And now he wants to relinquish the uh, Prime Minister duties that he's got um, in regards to the pandemic, which he never showed any interest in anyway, um, and he wants to give it to the WHO. Um, here we go. Let me let let him speak himself. Here we go and play. The World Health Organization meets on May 22, and on the agenda is a potential pandemic treaty, which would allow mm. WHO to direct countries in how they control pandemics. Mm. Mm. Would you consider signing mm. up to that and handing over any? to the organisation. I have always been supportive right from the outset. Oh, of course I would. I want to give all the powers over to the WHO. Mocked, in fact, by the Labor Party. Mocked? The so you should be WHO fucking mocked. ...should have those powers and those authorities to be able to go and deal with pandemic situations because we all know what happened at the start of this pandemic. No, we don't. Um, well, the problem is we don't know. Oh, we don't. ...the start of this pandemic, and I was the one calling to ensure that we had an independent process to understand what happened so it couldn't be repeated. So I have been in the vanguard of those... He's been in the vanguard. So he now knows what's going on? So he's, he's put in place things to make sure it doesn't happen again? So why the fuck are we handing it over to the WHO if he's fucking put in place a vanguard to figure out what happened and went wrong in the first place? Fuck, I'm livid. ...moves internationally to ensure that there is greater protection for world health, to ensure that uh, those world health authorities can come and understand what's going on... Come and understand? ...to assist countries to be able to prevent the spread and outbreak of major infectious diseases. Uh, now, we'll look at the text of all of that, but we have been amongst the countries that have been positive about these sorts of changes. Have to look... I, I can't listen to the Muppet anymore, guys. Um, so, yeah, um, all those people that basically said, I'm being a Fox Mulder uh, from the X-Files. Um, can you explain it to me? Like, I'm sure you're going to go, oh, they're just helping us. They're not helping us. Why are we relinquishing our power to handle a pandemic to the World Health Organization. It makes no sense at all, um, unless there's a new world order, which it pretty much is. It's just fucking in your face and you can't see it. Like, really? Like, there's um, a convention going on in the next couple of weeks where 198 countries are going to vote to hand over all the mandates that are going to be imposed um, to the WHO, to the WHO. So they're going to be looking after the mandates and all laws that are going to be put in place if there is another pandemic, which, funnily enough, Bill Gates has predicted. And I think he's number two 
in supplying money, donating it to the WHO. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck?